Hey guys, Barrett here from Pickleball Kitchen. A couple years ago, I got some advice that changed my game completely. And today, I'm going to share that advice with you. So what he said was, start to put a little bit more topspin and backspin on your dinks and it'll really help. Now, I get to, get to give you this advice. So, let's get started. Now, what we're gonna start with here is a very simple version of the topspin forehand dink. And I'm gonna do this cross court because it's a little bit easier to show that way. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the paddle is down below the ball. And the way I want you to think about this is to stick your hand out right in front of you like this, as if you're about to shake someone's hand, and then make your hand go down like that. Okay, watch. Down. See that? Chop. Down. And what you're going to do is you're going to feel some tension right here on the side of your arm. Not on the underside, not on top but on the side here. And that's what I want it to feel like with your paddle. Fling your paddle down like this. That feeling of tension here will help you get underneath the ball. That is the first very important thing. Some people like to hinge their wrist completely when it comes to topspin dinks like this. If you do that and you have success with it, fantastic. That's great. However, from my years of experience teaching pickleball, that does not work for a lot of people. So fling the paddle down like this, get it down, and that's the beginning of everything. That's the start of it. And then what we're gonna do from there is you're gonna pretend like you have a wristwatch on top of your wrist here, and you're gonna tell the time like that. You see how I flip my forearm over like this? That is how you get top spin. Now all we need to do is shorten that extremely in order to do topspin dinks, okay? So your forearm is facing up and we cross over like this. Watch, let me just give you a couple of examples here. Like that, that was a really good example. You notice how I didn't really swing very hard at the ball, I just kinda swung up on it. And this is what gives the ball topspin. When topspin goes over, especially if your opponent realizes it, it's going to force them to play more defensive because if they, if they hit the ball too hard, it's gonna pop up. That's what topspin does. It pops up off the paddle. Okay, let me show you some more. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm really coming across my body like this. If you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna come across, it's a little bit riskier, you can just come straight up. Okay, watch. Just come straight up. Nice. Cool. You can just keep the paddle on one side of the body. This is especially effective on volleys. It's actually really nice to do on volleys, okay? Cool. <laughs> and you really, again, don't need to hit the ball very hard. Let me change the angle so you can see it from a better angle here. See how these dinks I'm doing now are just short hops? These are, the, these are these flat dinks that I'm telling you about. You don't really have much on them and they're not very effective. So what I need to do is put topspin on them. You see how that when I started doing the topspin, all of a sudden I gained the advantage. That's what these kinds of dinks will do for you. <laughs> oh boy, good shot. That hit the rock. Did oh, you see that? And you see how brutal these shots are, right? I mean, they're almost like ground strokes in a way. Now in these next couple of examples here, just notice who has the advantage and when, and what, what kind of dink caused that advantage. Really focus on flipping the forearm over 
and that will give you the top spin. That may not work as well though if the ball is way on your side. It can be a little bit harder to flip the forearm over because your arm is all the way over here. Thing is though, top spin is great, but so is backspin. So let's take a look at that. Backspin is really cool because it solves a major problem, which is how do you keep your opponent from attacking the ball? Now, if people want to attack, they're going to attack, okay? Regardless if it's backspin or not, but backspin really helps, all right? What backspin does is as you hit it and as it's coming over the net, it's spinning towards you. That means when it hits the, the ground, it's going to bounce towards the net a little bit more and it's going to bounce lower. Now, it doesn't do that all the time, right? It's not like you're going to have perfect backspin where the ball, where the ball is revolving perfectly over itself. Sometimes it can be tilted a little bit, but it can really help to keep your opponent from hitting shots that are too hard. And these are really, really effective. I highly recommend to try to use backspin when you can. And again, sometimes they'll bounce a little bit awkward and that, that's okay. Here's the thing though. Here's what I want you to stay away from. I want you to stay away from playing Fruit Ninja and doing this kind of stuff like that and just going completely nuts with it. That was in, by the that way. Was actually a perfect shot. <laughs> that was a total accident. But you see what I mean. Don't just slice across it. You don't need that. And if you want to prove that to yourself, just do soft little backspin dinks like this with someone to head right in front of you, 14 feet in front of you, and watch the spin. Just watch it. And you can see for yourself that there's plenty of spin on that ball. So now what you're going to do is just do a simple dinking rally with someone in front of you and try out these spin shots. But don't just try out the shot. Understand when to use them and when not to use them. Okay, watch. So I'm just gonna kind of commentate here. You spin on that one. I can use top spin on this one. Nice, nice. Spin over to the center line. Cool. Top spin back over. Sweet. All right, let's see what we got here. Spin, back spin. Cool. Top spin over to the sideline. Nice. I'm gonna have to be defensive with that one. I should have volleyed that. I'll volley that one. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right, let's try this again. So, top spin to the sideline. Nice. Should have volleyed that. You see the power of spin. Really powerful stuff. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh man, not really getting any good dinks. Here we go. See, I've waited for my opportunity there. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, I think you get the idea, guys. That is how you put a little bit more spin on your dinks. Focus on the forehand top spin and the backhand backspin first, and then you can move on to other shots. Click over, over here, guys, to go to the next video. Thanks for joining me.